hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are audio thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a thanksgiving service flyer using photoshop so let's get started here i'm using 4 by 4 inches so come over here to copy your color code then paste the color code click ok then select this background image go to your bloody ocean then you select linear bone then also select this background image drag it up then you scale it out okay then go to your blurry option Now go to luminosity then reduce the opacity to 13 select your layer mask then you brush at the bottom here blend the bottom over here all right then bring this background image then you position it over here then select normal then reduce the opacity to 30 Select your layer mask, then you blend over here. You blend the top here, and you blend the bottom here. Then you position it around here. Drag it back. Then you scale it out. Okay. All right. Now, drag this background image to Photoshop. Scale it out. Bring it down. Then reduce the opacity to 44 then change the blending mode to soft light then apply your layer mask you blend over here Then come over here, you blend it. Reduce it. Okay.
then create a new layer go to your brush I'm going to use this brush over here so I'll provide a brush in the description so that you can download and make use of then apply the brush over here so okay like this Now, group it together. Now, select your test to come over here to copy the test. Then control V to paste it. Then change the font to this font here. Then apply vertical alignment, then control D to deselect. Then copy this color code. Then control V to apply the color. Then control J to duplicate it. Then copy your test. Then you paste it over here. Now I'm going to change the color to white. Then you reduce the font size. Position it over here like this. Then you align it center. Ctrl D to the select. Then Ctrl J to duplicate it again. Then copy your test over here and you paste it. Open the character spacing. Now close this one, which I highlighted this way. Then reduce the font size. Apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Ctrl D to deselect. Then I'm going to copy again. Select your test tool and you paste it. Then use the font here. Then you close the character spacing a bit. Then scale it out, centralize it, drag it up, then come over here again to copy your test, then you paste it.
then I'm going to use the font here then you paste the color code drag it over this area then rotate it scale it out Make the color white. Then bring it over here and position it this way. Then close the character space in a bit. All right. Then apply your blending option. Make it 75. Then use this contour over here. So you can see the outcome of it. Then apply your drop shadow. Eighty six. Then your angle at zero, distance six, then the spray five and the size eight. Then click OK. Then hold your alternate key, then you drag it over here to copy the layer style and move it. Hold your alt key, then you drag it down. All right. Okay. Copy your test, Ctrl V to paste, then copy your test, then change the font. So this font here all right so we have group it and rename it do the same thing again to this one okay now drag it up 
using your arrow key then reduce the font size bring this image reduce the size and position it over here now increase the size I think it's okay like this. Then come here to copy again. Select your test tool. Then before then bring this icon. Reduce the size. Then go to your hue and saturation. Then make the color white. Now paste your test. Reduce the size. Duplicate it. Then you copy your test again. You paste it. Then increase the font size. Position it over here. Then increase the font size again. Then increase this one. Then you use the font here. It's okay like this. Then you type it. Position it over here. Reduce the font size. Then apply a separation print angle here. Then change the color to yellow. Copy your time. Come over here to bring the icon. Now go to image adjustment, hue and saturation. You drag it over here to make the color white. Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then you drag it here. Ctrl V to paste. Create a space. Reduce the font size. Alright, so then you drag this icon again, 
reduce the size position it over here it's okay then you come over here to copy your test select your test tool then you paste it then change the font color to black then you reduce the font size circle like this now you group it then select this one and group it group it again All right. So this image rasterizes it. Go to your filter, then apply this skin final to smooth the face and apply brightness and contrast. So you can light up the image like this. Then apply this variance. So you can see how the image come out now. Then apply a red angle here. Then I'm going to use this color code here. Control V to paste it. Copy your test, then you paste it. Then I will leave it like this. Then you reduce it this way. Okay. So the name of a space now. Then you group it and rename it. So now I'm going to change the background color with this color code. Then you control V to paste it. So this is what you got. So this texture, I'm going to apply Gaussian blur. So okay like this. So we have filled out 
the texture a little okay so you can zoom out zoom in to see the outcome of it 